Hello student, welcome to our class. My dear student, we taught in our previous video, this poem, The Aunt and the Cricket, is about which is adapted from Aesop's fable. This poem is totally based on a lazy young cricket and an aunt. Cricket won't be sing all day long and won't be fancy his sensible times throughout summer season. He didn't plan anything for the future. When the winter arrived, Cricket could not find a small amount of food to eat. So that Cricket thought of going to Miser Ant and to borrow food and to get shelter. So let us see what will be happen next. Okay, now come on our fourth stanza. Listen these uh, difficult meanings because I am explaining in between. So let us start. He wished only to borrow. He would repay it tomorrow. If not, they must die of starvation and sorrow. Says the aunt to the cricket, I am your servant and friend. Come on. Wished. Wished means desired. Okay. You can say Ichha karna. And borrow. Take a loan. You can say loan. Udhar lena. He would repay. Repay means pay back. Main vapas kar dunga. It tomorrow. Ki kal. It not. He must die of starvation. As you all know. Before starvation means die by hunger. You can say bhook se mar jana. And sorrow, you can say grief, duk. And now, servant, domestic worker, kaam karne wala. Now, borrow again, take loan. So, come on, head. He wished only to borrow, he would repay it tomorrow. If not, he must die of starvation and sorrow. Says the aunt to the cricket, I am your servant and your friends. Now come on the, the cricket wished only a loan of food which he had would re, repay very soon. If they did not get food and shelter, he would surely die of starvation and grief. So now come on. It means to say that cricket says that I need food. उधार चाहिए और वह उसे शीघ्र लौटा देगा यदि उसे भोजन नहीं मिला तो वह भूख मरी व दुख से मर जाएगा सो व्हाट अंड से लेट अस सी बट वी आंट्स नेवर वी आंट्स नेवर बट वी आंट्स नेवर बोरो वी आंट्स नेवर लैंड बट टेल मी डियर क्रिकेट did you lay nothing by when the weather was warm? Come on the, explain the hard meaning. Borrow means take a loan, udhar dena and land, give a loan, ki koi bhi rin ne lena. Borrow means me hum na to hum udhar dete hai, on land na hum udhar lete hai. Now come on, lay nothing by, matlab save nothing, ki tumne kuch bhi nahi bachaya and warm means Sunny. So come on the explanations. Ki, but we aunts never borrow, we aunts never lend. I tell me, dear cricket, did you lay nothing by when the warm weather was warm? Weather means mawsome. So the aunt says to cricket, ki the, uh, the aunt was sympathetic at the cricket's plight. But silent, uh, since landing the borrowing is not their way of life. She couldn't help him. The aunt further wanted to know if the cricket had not served food in the warm months for the coming winter. You can say, my dear friend, कि जो aunt होती है वो उसको cricket को कहती है कि मैं तुम्हारी servant हूँ और friend भी हूँ. But हम जो aunts होती हैं हम न तो उधार लेती हैं और न ही उधार देती हैं. But मुझे ये बताओ my dear cricket क्या तुमने अपने एक अच्छे वेदर के लिए या अपने अच्छे फ्यूचर के लिए कुछ भी बचा कर नहीं रखा है yes now come on fifth stanza कि what uh, conversations between the aunt and crickets quote the cricket not I my heart was so light that I sang day and night for all nature looked gay you sang Sir, you say, go then, 
says the aunt and dance their winter away. So come on the hard meaning. Koth means sad. You can say kaha. Now cricket is a um, tida and heart was so light. Light means is a uh, halka. But you can say here you use carefree. Ki chinta rahit. That I was saying day and day night for all nature looked gay. Gay means happy, khush. And now your last uh, uh, difficult meaning in this para, dance the winter away. It means to say, ki, uh, the aunt said, ki spend the winter dancing gaily. Ki tum jao, or uh, is, jo apna ye season hai, weather hai, isko dance karte hue bachao. So it means to say, my dear student, in this para, the aunt says to cricket, ki the cricket replied that, कि पहले उससे वो पूछती है आंट है उसको आस करती है क्रिकेट से अब क्रिकेट रिप्लाई करता है कि the cricket replied that since he was so happy and carefree he kept singing all summer while the world was so green and lively the aunt said that if he sang through summer he could well dance Throw the winter in the same way. तो cricket reply करता है कि मैंने तो कुछ भी नहीं किया मैंने तो जो इतना सा प्यारा सा जो green word है उसको enjoy किया dance किया तो उसका जो aunt है वो reply करती है कि तो जाओ summer में तुमने पूरे तुम dance singing किया अब जाओ और उसी के through अपना जो है कि अपन गाते हुए गीत गाते हुए अपना time spend करो it means to say my dear student cricket बोला कि मेरे मेरा जो heart वो इतना happy है और इतना carefree था कि मैं day और night singing करता रहा क्योंकि जो हमारी ये nature है वो इतनी गेली है इतनी green है इतनी सुंदर है तो चीटी उसको reply करती कि जो जाओ sing करो गाते रहो और नाचते रहो और सर्दियों को ऐसे ही निकाल दो so now some discuss in our last stanza of this poem six okay let us read thus ending he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket. Folks call this a fable. I will want it true. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. Come on, discuss the hard meaning. Now here is hastily means hurriedly. You can say jaldi me. Lifted. Lifted here is used closed. Ban kar diya. And now come on, wicket. Wicket is a small door. Chota sa darwaza. And folk means people. We can say log. Now come on fable. You as you you all know what is the meaning of fable. But I will tell you. Short story with a moral. Having animals as its characters. You can say kahani. So my dear student in the last para. The aunt says to cricket. Ki the aunt having refused to have the cricket. Turn him out and close the door. People call this a story, but I insist it is the truth. Some people are like the lazy and short-sighted cricket who do not bother to save and prepare for the future. They enjoy the blessings of the present and find themselves in trouble when bad times are upon them. So you can say my dear student कि ऐसा कहकर जो अंत है वो अपना गेट बंद कर देती है और जो क्रिकेट है उसको घर से आउट कर देती है जो पीपल से वो इसको एक कहानी कहते हैं but I जो अपना उथर है इस इस पोईम का वो कहता है कि मैं इसे सत्य मानता हूँ true मानता हूँ क्योंकि जो क्रिकेट है वो four legs वाले होते चार � so my dear student, our all stanzas completed. After this, we, we will discuss the summary of that poem. The summary of this poem is, The poem, The Aunt and the Cricket is a fable, as you all know, a story consisting of animals or characters that conveys a moral, written in a poetic format. It is about a silly young cricket and a miser aunt. The cricket used to sing all day, long and enjoy his good times during the summer season. He didn't plant anything for the future. When winter arrives, cricket could not find a small amount of food to eat. So the cricket thinks of going to Mr. Aunt to borrow food and to get shelter. 
Then the cricket knocked on the ant's door asking for help. The ant gives a very important lesson of life during its conversations with the cricket. Let us see what the important lesson give to cricket. And says that ants neither borrow from somebody nor lend to somebody. Ants are hard working creatures and save for the future. The ant asked the cricket what it was doing during happier times. On hearing the cricket indulged in dancing and singing and make, making merry. So my dear student, the ant asked the cricket to try dancing and singing once again during rough times. My dear student, this is the story. Our moral this story, what we learnt from this story, ki we should happy moments but should not ignore our future. Careful planning is essential for everyone and it ensures a secure future. If we are lazy and do not want to work, then nobody will help us in need or in our bad time. So my dear student, what did you learn from this poem? As in the poem, the cricket just sung day and night in the summer. But the ants did work day and night. So now in the winter, the cricket is dying of hunger. We should also work hard for our goal. I suggest to you. So my dear student, those who do not think ahead can never succeed in life. And if they are helped again and again, they will never learn a lesson. So, if we enjoy today, then we will surely suffer tomorrow. So, my dear student, you have to write the word meaning from the PDF and listen the video again and again at least twice in time. So, till now, have a nice day.